You're probably wondering, why the hell am I looking at my phone? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you connect your phone to your Nikon camera using the SnapBridge app. Stay tuned for this video and I'll show you exactly how you do that. What up guys? So in this video, if you've always wondered how or why should you connect your phone to your Nikon camera, well, number one is you can straight download your photos that you take or videos right onto your smartphone so you can access them without needing to going to an SD card or an or going to even an external monitor and you need like a second monitor to check out how your videos are looking, you can simply just use your phone to see how your videos or photos are looking, even if you are like 50 feet away from your camera. So first you want to make sure that your actual camera itself is SnapBridge compatible. And of course you'll also need some sort of phone as well. So first you want to go into your menu settings and it is under your look for the tool wrench here and it should be under your setup menu and if your Nikon camera is actually SnapBridge compatible you'll see two options you'll have airplane mode you want to turn that off if you turn that on it will turn off all of your Wi-Fi and your SnapBridge capability so you want to turn that off and you'll see two options you can connect to your PC or you can connect to your smart device and both of this is through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So you want to go into your connect to smart device and you want to make sure Bluetooth pairing is on. Wi-Fi connection, you can also turn this on. And now that you know your actual Nikon camera is SnapBridge compatible, the easiest way to connect your phone or your PC to your camera is their simple instructions. You want to put your camera to the side now that you discovered that it is actually Bluetooth or SnapBridge compatible is you want to go to your phone and you want to get the SnapBridge app. You go into SnapBridge and it is all very self-explanatory. There are, there are options and you just follow the step-by-step instructions that it gives you but for example right now I already have it connected to my Nikon Z50 but what I'm going to do right now I'm just going to disconnect everything okay so you open up your SnapBridge app and the first thing it'll say is connect to camera so what you want to do is press connect to camera and then it'll turn on or ask for turn on your Bluetooth you press allow Next, you want to select your camera, and these are all the cameras that are compatible with the SnapBridge app. So as you can see here, your DSLRs, you have your D6, D500, D7500, D5600, D3500 even. But I'm going to go to mirrorless, since I have a Z50, and there's two options. You can connect via Wi-Fi, or you can connect via pairing and Bluetooth. I prefer pairing via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because it does have more of a stable connection in my opinion. I press that. I press OK. Then what I want to do is I go into my camera, go into menu, and I go into connect to smart device. I go into my phone again, Bluetooth pairing to use this app make sure you enable location so you turn on your location press this again and the snapbridge app will tell you what to do just follow along it says select connect to smart device in your camera setup follow the on-screen instructions until the camera name is displayed pairing go to pairing start pairing and you'll see your camera pop up here and then you want to select the camera and it will connect to your camera and just the wait via Bluetooth. You'll get a code, essentially how you pair anything, whether that's your phone to your car and as well as a pass key. You, want, you just want to make sure the password key matches. Press OK and you press OK on your camera as well. It'll say pairing is complete. Press OK. Now, what you have here is 
your phone is now connected via the SnapBridge app to your camera. So what I'm going to do now is you go to auto link is it'll, any pictures you take on your camera, it'll go straight to your phone via the cloud. You can connect and download, but I like to just check and use this as essentially an external monitor. So what I do is I go to remote photography, it'll, tell, it'll prompt you to turn on the Wi-Fi, press OK. It will start to establish the Wi-Fi connection. Now that you have connected, you just have to wait a minute. You go into your camera, you won't be able to use the screen as you'll see. It says connected to smart device. And now that you're in smart photography mode or remote photography mode, you can also take photos and video as well. You can change the modes depending on from photos to video. You can actually take photos from far away. You can change the shutter speed, crank up the ISO here. And I can actually take a photo. So I'm going to take a photo here. And as you can see, I just took a photo. You can actually, the cool thing about this is I can actually tap to focus on my screen. So this is essentially a back panel to my camera, which is so cool about the SnapBridge app. As you can hear, I'm not touching my camera. My camera is over there, right? But I can tap to focus here and then here. Just took a photo. And it will download right into your phone a preview as well as obviously on the SD card as well. And now I'm going to switch from taking a photo to recording mode, video mode. I have my settings as is. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record a video. And that is how you connect your SnapBridge to your phone via any sort of SnapBridge compatible Nikon camera. So now I just pressed record on my phone here and as you can see it's recording you have a little record flash button right there for you and you see it's there's a little bit of a latency like maybe half a millisecond of a delay but you can also see that it's focusing they're actually face detection and you can see the focus on my face it's tracking my face which is pretty cool for just alone and using this app so if you the one of the downsides of actually using the z50 is that there's no flip out screen so you can't see yourself and you can't see how is your framing how's your positioning with the overall camera when you're recording but now that it's connected via my phone i don't have to constantly go behind the camera and check i just connect via snapbridge like i just showed you guys and now I just look at my phone. I'm like, okay, I am center now. It is in focus. And now I can start recording my YouTube videos. Even if I am like more than four feet away from my camera, I can't press record. Now I can just tap on my face, press record. And now I'm recording without even having to touch my camera. I just touch my smartphone as long as it's connected. And now guys, I am completely not having to touch my phone, touch my Z50 at all. And I don't need a flippy articulating screen to the side. And that guys is how you take photos and videos with your Nikon camera with SnapBridge. And if you watch this far, smash that thumbs up button. My name is Peter. Grab my free camera guide to help you out on your content creation journey. And you're watching a Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.